Back in 2004, I was in a very dark place. My younger son had stolen a huge amount of money from my husband and me, and he was on the run from the authorities. I was depressed and empty. A neighbor invited me to attend a beginner's Bible study at East Swamp Church. I wasn't sure about going because I had been raised Jewish and taught that the Jews do not recognize Jesus as the Messiah. However, the class was only five weeks, and so I decided to go ahead and see what would happen. In the beginning, I thought God was going to send me this thunderbolt, and magically, I would become a Christian. But as the weeks went on, I realized that it wasn't going to happen that way. Every week, we would study one of the basic ideas in Christianity, such as eternal life, God's word, forgiveness of sins and we had a Bible verse to memorize. I had never read the Bible and didn't own one. Having God's word inside me was powerful. As the weeks went on, I could feel myself changing. At one of the classes without planning to, I mentioned that my son had stolen money and I didn't know what to do. Someone said, GE, you can pray for him. My heart did a little leap in my chest. Yes, I could pray for him and ask more of him with the hope that something better could take place rather than being paralyzed by my hurt and uncertainty. I realized I had never prayed. One day driving home from work, I spontaneously began to pray. I don't remember what I prayed, but I remember feeling it was a milestone in my life. I looked around me and asked myself, what do I see? I saw women praying for each other, thanking the Lord for their existence. I saw people talking about important matters in their life, not making small talk, but really wanting to be good people. And these women loved the Lord. I wanted what they had. I really believe that memorizing the Bible verses and having God's word inside me was how Jesus courted me. One of the first Bible verses I memorized was from Psalms 119.11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. When I realized I didn't have to give up being Jewish, it was easy to embrace Jesus. I saw the Old Testament and the New Testament like the two sides of myself coming together. At the end of the five weeks, I had jumped over the Jewish hurdle and knew that I wanted God and Jesus in my life. I stumbled through my vow of asking Jesus into my life, but it was joyous. This journey has been life-changing. I feel like a whole person and I carry God inside me. I still don't know where my son is and doubt we will ever see that money again. However, I'm a different person, a new person in Christ, and I love it. It is totally joyous. One of the other verses that means a lot to me is from Psalms 145.13. The Lord is faithful to all he promises and loving towards all he has made.